Hi. Recently, I found the Hello WebXR demo on the Mixed Reality blog. Uh, you see a screenshot here. Uh, it's very cool. I tried it on the Oculus Quest. If you own a Quest or an another VR headset, then try it out. It's really worth it. And you can see in the screenshot that there's some fancy lighting going on. And um, on the um, tech description, it says the models were created using Blender and baked lighting is used through all the demo. And um, baked lighting basically is the idea to uh, not have dynamic lighting, but rather um, prefab or bake light into the textures of the model so that it's part of the model and uh, is not wasting resources uh, anymore. I couldn't find a good tutorial on baked lighting or shadow baking in general for Blender 2.8, but I did find a good tutorial on baking in general by Grant Abbott. Um, and from that, I um, reckoned how to do shadow baking in Blender, and I tried to explain that in the next six minutes. Um, have fun. Okay, we'll start with the default scene, but we won't delete the default cube. We just move it up a little bit. Shift A to add a plane. Scale X axis, scale Y axis. Okay, so these are two untextured objects. Uh, let's change that. Let's start with the cube. Um, the cube is already unwrapped, so we don't need to do that, but we need to create a new texture. And we don't need an alpha channel. For some reason, the texture is always black, so fill it with white. Change the color of the pencil to black. Set the radius to 5. And let's draw some numbers. I really have to improve my handwriting, but that's a different story. Okay, we don't see that over here uh, because we didn't attach this texture to a shader to this very shader of the um, material. So um, let's rename this cube material. Add an image texture. Add the image and connect the color to the base color. So now this shows up. By the way, also in the rendered view, we, we see the shadow. Um, but we want to ba bake this shadow on the plane, so let's give the plane a texture 2. Could have done this over here also, I just realized. Add an image texture, create a new plane text. And since we attached the color to the base color already, we will see the effect immediately. So if we go back to texture paint um, and fill this with white and paint something on it, we, we already see it, but we can also paint directly into the viewport, which is kind of cool. No imp improvement on the handwriting either. So, So let's export to uh, GLTF, which is something A-Frame can read. And there's a little live server attached, so it should show up directly as it does, without shadowing, of course, because we didn't bake it yet. To bake, we go back to the shading view, add another image texture. Give it an image, new one. We are on the plane, so it's plane, bake. And with this thing active, we go to the render view, change the render engine to cycles, because Eevee can't bake. Go to bake and hit bake, and this will take some time. So it says baking map saved internal image, save it externally or pack it. Actually, we don't need to do that uh, uh, for the exporter. Um, let's see what happened. Okay, we, we have the, the, the new image over here, which is the baked image. 
but um, if we were to export that, we wouldn't see anything because um, we didn't attach it to the base color. So we do do it like that. And now the shadow is part of the texture. And if we export that, then we'll see the texture on the plane. Let's do this for the cube also. So select the cube, add an image texture, give it a name. And with this selected, bake. Again, this will take some time, which we'll I speed up. Now we have another uh, texture with the baking included. So now we need to again connect the baked texture to the base color. And we see that it applies here. And we export again. And go back to our little A-frame viewer, which, by the way, makes makes a nice previewer because we have um, some A-frame code and this uh, live server, as in Node.js, which works great for doing experiments like that. So that that's it. Thank you.